Yo, what is going on guys? Dex Pure Fed CFW bringing you guys the video that I was talking about yesterday in my live stream. Now, since there was like 20 or 30 of you guys watching, I asked if I could get 10 likes, I'd make the tutorial on how to hook up the RTM tool. And yes, this is going to be for 5.55 firmware. Now, obviously, the jailbreak isn't public yet, but it's going to be here within the next couple weeks, maybe a month or so. But I'm telling you guys, this is the same method you're going to use for 5.55. So right away, I'm going to tell you I'm on 5.5, I mean, I'm on 5.05, .5, but this same method applies for further firmwares in the future. It's this simple, guys, like I was talking about. It's not rocket science. This is what you're going to need to do on your 5.55 to be able to hook up the RTM tool and mod on Black Ops 3, GTA 5, other games like that, etc. So this is going to be the tutorial you're going to need because it's the same concept, guys. Just because 5.05 and 5.55 aren't the same firmwares, connecting... RTM tools is the same thing and I guarantee you guys will understand what I'm talking about so obviously the first thing you guys are gonna wanna do on your 5.55 when you guys have the public jailbreak you're gonna go into your user guide obviously type in the DNS codes check my previous videos if you guys wanna see what the DNS codes are if not I'll just leave them down in the description below and see we got past jailbreak firmwares and we got the recent jailbreak so obviously there's gonna be future jailbreaks at one point this is gonna be filled this whole thing is gonna be filled up it's pretty simple explanatory so obviously 5.05 .05, what's gonna go right next to that 5.55 .55, and then all this other stuff will just keep moving down so you're gonna to wanna to click on 5.55 .55, and then all this stuff is gonna be basically in there once the jailbreak comes out people right away you guys will be surprised within like three four days there will already be a 5.55 .55, basically modding pack which right away you obviously want to click the hen folder so from here you guys like I said will be able to run fake packages fake themes fake everything that you downloaded that runs and it says success and don't always look at it as a success guys if it says not enough memory it's not enough system memory just click OK it'll refresh might say it again click OK it'll refresh and it will eventually give you success from here, I can play any fake game. Even though you guys see the locks, I'll run up and do a quick theme check real quick. I'll do, I'll just set a theme. So like, I'll just do my quick Dex Pure Fed CFW. I really like this theme, but it's kind of hard to see stuff for a tutorial, and I, I'm not gonna fully use it. So I'll just back out and show you guys that yes, the theme is uploaded. So now every game, obviously the lock is gone. You can play every game now. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch the theme out real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys the first important step of this video into RTMing. So you've already seen me load the hen file, which now every fake game I can play, including Black Ops 3, which is, is the basic main tutorial of it. But second off, you're not actually gonna want to go to the user guide. You want to go to your settings. Go to your settings. So scroll down and go to system, and then system information. And from here, I'm going to block out my Mac and all that. But you're going to want to make sure you remember your IP address. Write it down. Take a picture on your phone. Do something to remember your IP address. From here, it's pretty simple, guys. Now that you know your IP address and you've already loaded the hen file, now you're going to want to go back up into the user guide. Click on it. Go back into 5.55, technically. And then it will say, like, bin loader. From here, you click on it. And it will say, awaiting payload. Now guys, I'm going to stop the recording here and I'm going to jump over to my PC and show you guys what you're going to need to do. Alright guys, so now that we're on the PC, you guys are going to have to have a PC. I'm sorry if you don't have a PC for this. It's kind of pointless. But if not, if you don't have a PC, I'll probably make a future tutorial on how to do this stuff without having to do this. But right off the bat guys, you're going to want to download this file, which I'll have down in the description. It's PS4 Toolbox by Death RGH version 1.6.0. Now this is kind of a newer one. I think the newest one is 1.7. And then when 5.55 comes out, it'll be like 1.8, 1.9, probably 2.0 eventually will come out. So you're just gonna wanna keep downloading the most updated toolbox by DeathRGH, which is pretty simple. I'll leave a download link to go find all these downloads. And you guys can download whichever one of your choice. Obviously, downloading the newest one will give you more features, better features for modding games, stuff like that. So once you open this up, I'm not actually going to do it because I already have the application up. I don't want my computer like freezing or glitching for you guys. Once you open this up, there's just going to be like three folders and an application. Click the application, guys. Run the application. And then you should get this PlayStation 4 toolbox, which honestly looks just like this. It's this simple. Now, as I told you guys before, if you have remembered your IP address, this is where it comes into play. 
right here is where you're going to want to type your PS4's IP address. Make sure it's 9020 is the port and whichever firmware you're on. So obviously, like I said, I'm on 5.05, but for firm, further firmware, guys, it's going to be this simple. So there's going to be 5.55 eventually listed in this. So once you guys do that, click on 5.55 if it's not already loaded up like it was for me. And now you're set. Right here is the inject payload, and right here is just the test connection. So I haven't injected payload yet, but if you're looking at your PS4, it says awaiting payload. Well, if I click inject payload, you'll see this green little bar loading up. And eventually, once it clicks that, it'll say payload injected success successfully. And as soon as you click that on your PS4, it'll say PlayStation 4 Toolbox activated. And so now I am connected to my PS4. Right away, after you're done with that, and it's still saying on your PS4 awaiting payload, I just hit test connection, and I click OK. So once that's all set, now you can go ahead and totally hit the PS button. So now you can go back to your desktop on your PS4 where all your games are. Don't click on anything yet. And from here, I'm going to jump back over to the PS4 and show you guys what you're going to want to do now that you have been connected to the RTM tool. So I'll catch you guys here in a sec. Peace. All right, guys. So now that you're back on your PS4, it's super simple what you're going to want to do. Now, obviously, you're still connected to your computer. You just loaded up the payload. You're back on your PS4 now. All you're going to want to do is go back up into the user guide. And since, like I said, I'm on 5.05, but this is a 5.55 explanation of exactly what you're going to need to do. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, guys. So now you would just click on PS4 Game Mods, which even if 5.55, when they update it and it comes up here for a jailbreak, just look for PS4 Game Mods, guys, and you'll always see the COD Online right up in here. So just click on COD Online. Go ahead and click here to start the game and you will be land playing with every modder and I'll put it like this nobody can really do anything to you guys like don't get nervous like oh my gosh I don't want to play with these guys because they could hack you nobody's like that there's no I've not run into anybody that's tried really doing anything to my PS4 but you really can't there's nothing you can do you're not online they can't ban you from online they can't do nothing crazy I mean everything you're doing right now is offline so it, there's really nothing they can do but uh after this is all saying for forwarding success, stuff like this, there will be bugs, guys. It might not run perfectly as mine is right now, but it's going to work. Just maybe restart your PS4, do the same process as you guys seen, and you guys will eventually be able to do this. It's super simple. I didn't have to do nothing with my router to be able to do the LAN. I know I've seen some videos of people saying, go on your router, do this, make sure it's set up. Yes, some of you will have to mess with your router, but I didn't have to do that, so I can't leave this part in the tutorial. Like, I just literally did this and everything worked perfectly. So you guys, try this method first. If it doesn't work and you can't get in the LAN play, then go ahead and look at, like, Andrew's 2007 video and see what he's doing with his router. But from here, I can click Find LAN Game, and there's one game. And, uh, yeah, so I don't really want to play with these guys. I'm going to show you guys what the RTM tool looks like. And uh, I'll go into... We'll go into, oh man, I don't know what I want to show you guys. Probably zombies or multiplayer. I mean zombies, multiplayer, zombies, multiplayer. Looks like I was out of sync of the video, but, um, man, I don't know what to show you guys. Probably zombies, honestly. Nobody wants to see multiplayer. So we'll go ahead and just change the map. You guys will be able to get every DLC like you could possibly imagine too, by the way, when 5.55 comes out. And this video isn't me clickbaiting, guys. This is exactly what you're going to need to do for 5.55. That's all I want to say. So we'll go ahead and load up Ascension and just click Start Game. So from here, guys, I'm going to actually switch back over to OBS and show you guys the features because it's going to be a little difficult. All right, guys, so I'm just running around on COD right now. I wish I could show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just running around with a pistol right now. Obviously, it still says my connection test is good, so even I'm just killing zombies right now. I have no unlimited ammo, nothing like that, because I haven't loaded the tool up. But this is as simple as it is, guys. You can pick from all these games you want, like Uncharted. You click on it. Click the firmware that the game is on, like the update. So, like, if you haven't updated at all, your base game is 1.00 all the time. But since I'm on Black Ops 3, you click Call of Duty, Black Ops, and I showed you guys in the information I'm on 1.26. So since I'm playing zombies, you go ahead and click on zombies and the tool will pop up for you. From here guys, it's super simple. Don't start clicking anything. You do want to attach the tool first. If you click attach, 
As soon as you click that and everything goes well, on your PS4 it will say attached to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The toolbox is connected. So now the toolbox is connected. I can hit fetch clients and you'll see my name pop up right away. From here, now I can start switching on stuff, guys. So I click unlimited ammo. Boom. Unlimited ammo on my game is working. It's that simple, guys. It's just it's that simple. Um, I can show you guys a quick little tool. Or I can jump back over to my Elgato and do a quick little explanation of exactly what I'm talking about. But yes, from here, guys, you are set up. You can click anything you want. You can use this for anything you want. Player speed. And like I said, if you don't want to use zombies, I mean, then you got this. You got multiplayer. Let me go ahead and show you guys. You can connect to multiplayer. So just boom, right there, 1.26 multiplayer. And that's when you can play with LAN and other people like that. And that's really it. So I'm done actually recording this. I'm still just RTMing, guys. If you paid attention and you understand what I was doing here, just without me actually showing the game up, you guys should be very, very set to do this for 5.55 when the public jailbreak comes out guys I'm not too sure I just know it's gonna be coming out once 6.00 comes out so once that firmware comes out you guys should be really excited because you will start being able to do all this stuff and there's a hundred percent a jailbreak for 5.55 no matter what anybody says Other than that guys thank you for watching this video stay purified 24 7 I'm out peace